Hi everyone, good afternoon. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. It's Friday, July 19th. And I can place a five in row one immediately. I get a seven that I can place in row three. I think that's it for the top three rows. In the middle three rows, I'll get a seven placed in row four. I think that's it. Bottom three rows, I get a one placed in row seven, and I think that's all I get. Uh, if I look at columns, there is a two in column two. And here's an eight in column four. In the middle columns, I have all my fives. Seven will end up there. One, I can't do anything with. Ah, shucks. Oh, but I can place a four. Column four, it goes there. On the right, I have nothing. Okay. Now, I was about to see a crossing on fives. It can't go in any of these cells. Unfortunately, it can go in any of those four cells, so that really doesn't work too badly. Now, three and two can't go here or here. So all four of those cells are ruled out by three and two in box three, and therefore they must form a two, three. Two and three must go in those two cells only. So, These four cells that are left cannot be 2, 3, 5, 7, 9. They are 1, 4, 6, and 8, of which I don't get much help. Um, fortunately, I still have two spaces, I think, right here and right there for the digit 4 in column 3. I need 4, 5, 6, and 7. Well, actually, that sees 4, 5, and 7. That can only be 6. So this is 4 or 7. This is 4 or 5. And that one's 5 or 7. A 6 is in rows 4 and 5. will allow me to place it in row 6 which I can't really do much follow-up with. On either the leftmost three or the rightmost three columns. These cells are one, two, three, eight, nine. Neither of those are three or nine. Neither of these are one, neither of those are two, and we know this also isn't one. Okay, two, three, five, seven, one, oh, okay, so it just occurred to me. Nine has to go there, so it must go here. Two, three, five, seven, so I need one, four, six, eight, nine to be placed, and row two is complete. Oh, uh, we know two is here, so it must go there, since it can't go here. In row one, five, seven, eight, nine, I need one, two, four, six, eight. One, two, four, one, two, three, four, six. I don't know those could be two or three. Okay, none of those can be two, three, five, or seven. And I get no help. These ones can't be 2, 3, 5, or 8. So I don't have much help there. Oh, I can place a 5 in 
box 6. It can't go here or here based on this 5 and that given 5 that I'm pointing at. So 5 goes there explicitly. And therefore, it ends up in one of those two in column 8. Uh, 1, 2, 8, and 4 are left for row 5. I don't think this has to be a 4. It can't be any of the other digits. So, there's a triple. These are now a triple. They are to complete box 6, and all three of them go in row 4. They are... Seven, eight, nine. Exactly. But the four, column nine places the six. Leaves a one, four, eight triple that turns a corner. Those are from two, three, or seven, nine. Complete column 9. I have nothing else to go with it. 7, 8, 9, triple here means this is neither 8 nor 9. So those cells end up as a 1, 2, 3. Now that triple is complete. These cells can't be 1, 2, 3, or 6, 7, 9. They are 4, 5, 8, and that's a 4 because it sees 5 and 8, so there's 5, there's 8. Let's see, what else can that do? Quite a bit, actually. Three nines. so this is not 3. This isn't 7, therefore must be 4, which makes this 7, this 9. 1 and 6 are left in row 1. So I'm left with that. This cell can't be 4. Neither of those are 9. This isn't 4. Delete the corner mark 2s because that doesn't do me any good. Uh, this will be from 2, 3, 8, 9, oh. Let's see, well, these can't be 6. And these can't be 6. So where does 6 go in column 5, the only place that's left? Uh, okay, um... That six doesn't do me any good though. See down here, one, four, five, six, seven. So those are from two, three, eight, nine. As are these two. This else can't be four. Uh, oh, where does nine go? It must go there in column two. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 6, and 9. And they can't be 1 or 2, so those are 2 thirds of 3, 6, 9. These can't be, okay, those are from 1, 3, 4, 6, or 9, of which absolutely none of them are 1. And this is 4, 6, and 9, that's, so that must be 3, it can't be anything else. So oh, 9, 2 are done. That means this is 6. Okay, I end up with a problem here. Because I misscanned the grid. 2, 7, 8, 9 are done. So these are actually from 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 
and I don't have anything useful, do I? Not really. But where does six go in box two? Can't go here by pair, it can't go here by given, it can't go here by this. So six in box two is forced. Which helps me with nothing else. Let's see, these digits can't be five, six, or nine. These digits are one, four, eight, nine, along with five and six. Okay, so I'm left with that configuration. All right, column one gets me something useful. Not really. Uh, three is done. What about... Guess we'll get rid of those. They don't do me any good. Those pencil mark sevens in row four, box six. See, there's a six, but that, again, doesn't help me at all. Okay, if this is two, three, then this has to be a four. For some reason, it's going to be a while to see that. And there's another triple that... Turns a corner. But this isn't three. These aren't three. And this isn't three, so three must go there. My definition was it out of this cell. Which doesn't help me at all, does it? I got nothing here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I have to look at this a little bit. If you drop off at this point, you know, let me know how I can improve the scanning a little bit better because I think I'm stuck. I look by rows, I don't see anything obvious. The breakthrough by row would specifically be in the bottom three because I don't have enough to disambiguate. enough things. Now if I look by columns, I don't have much there. Uh,
going on here? Does this interact with anything useful? Yeah, I'm not sure what it does. But I feel like if I have to bifurcate any of the digits in the middle three columns, will immediately resolve pretty much everything else. And so I'll be able to determine relatively easily whether or not I have a contradiction. So we're going to argue that this cell is 1 and see what that does. Okay, this has to be six. That has to be one. Well, we argued this cell there, that one, in row four, co column four. Now, that meant this can't be five, so this is five. Therefore, that one must be six. One eight nine places the four in column eight. Places this one because that's an eight nine, so that's eight. This is one, and therefore that's a one. Whoops, I didn't mean to put emojis in there. Okay, do I have three different two, three, two threes? I think I do, because if so, that's a contradiction. I mean, this, these two are only a two, three. These one, these one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this one, these one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I have three different two, three cells here. Now, all of them were easy derivations, which proves this cell cannot be one. Because I can't have three different two, three pairs in two different regions. I'm eventually going to run out of digits. So. Okay, where did I say this was four? That may have been an eight. I think that assumption was also incorrect. Okay, if this was two, three, and this is four. Okay, so here's where we determined in this cell cannot be one, therefore must be a two. Nine, so this is an eight, that's a one. This is two. All we know is that's not two, but I don't know which of one or three it is just yet. This is eight, nine, seven, eight. One, four there, the three in column five sorts out the two, three. None of these are nine. This is not seven. That's a two to complete column six. 
I've got a 3-9 sitting in row 8. That places the 6. Six in column two sorts out one six in row one, which sorts out the three one in row four, which will sort out the nine three in row seven, and almost but not quite do the triple in column one. But I'm getting a lot further. Four, one, two, three, uh, this is two. Five, six, four, seven, four, three. That should be enough. It is. Okay, so 20 minutes. So if you guys can help me in the comments, I'd appreciate that because I don't like having to fill out the entire grid and prove things by contradiction because you can pretty much start just about anywhere. But beyond that, I thought this was an enjoyable puzzle.